Hello Year 10 students, parents and caregivers. My name is Miss Brownlee and I'm in charge of the language faculty at Gosford High School. And here's my wonderful language assistant, Willow. So this video is to give you important information about the Stage 6 French Continuous course um, that we have at Gosford High School. Our students often ask us who studies languages for the HSC. Are they humanities students? Are they science students? In fact, it's everyone. It's a 50-50 split according to NESA statistics based on HSC patterns of study. All major universities now allow students to add a certificate or diploma in languages to their main degree in recognition of the importance of language skills for all career areas. Language study at HSC level also attracts ATAR bonus points for most universities. HSC language study also allows you to skip between one and two years of university study in that language, allowing you to reach a higher level of proficiency or shorten your language studies. At Gosford High School, about 50 students in year 11 and year 12 are studying either Japanese, French or Spanish. Languages can take you anywhere. And so why French? Really, why not? French has so much to offer and not even just in France. French is the second most widely studied language in Australia, after Japanese. It's the official language of 29 countries across Europe, Africa, North America and Oceania and is predicted to be the most widely spoken global language by 2050 due to demographic changes. Trade and investment links between Australia and France are substantial. I'm not going to read through all of these facts and figures, but keep in mind that this is just France. There are 28 more countries where France is spoken and I haven't included all of the trade links and opportunities for them. You may be familiar with some or all of these brands, showing that French can be used in a diverse range of industries and these brands all have a presence in Australia. More languages lead to more opportunities. 62% of adult Australians wish they had learned another language growing up. There are more authentic and cheaper travel experiences to be had if you speak the language. Certainly when I travel in France, speaking French is a huge advantage and gets me much, much better service and a lot of extra things that perhaps I wouldn't have access to if I only spoke English. Most Europeans can have a conversation in at least one additional language, many in two or even three, and increasingly this is the case. So in a global job market, is it enough to just speak English? Perhaps not. Our students also ask when the best time is to learn a language. The earlier the better for pronunciation and having a native-like accent, but adults can learn a language to fluency as well as children. However, time and commitment are required, and formal education is when you have the most time available, even if it doesn't feel that way. Learning a language during high school is also the only time it's going to be free, and the reason why we mention that is because Alliance Francaise, for example, to study the same number of hours as you get between year 8 and 12 would cost you about $10,000. And there are many, many people who go to Alliance Francaise later in life and have to pay that money. Why not do it for free now? The continuous language pathway reflects a pathway that starts in year 8 with a 100 hour course, continues into year 9 and 10 with a 200 hour course, and then moves into year 11 and 12 with 240 hours. By the end of year 12, students will have done 540 hours of study, and uh, 600 if they choose to do French extension, which is an optional one unit course. Students are often worried about their stage six language studies and they are concerned it's going to get significantly harder and more challenging, but essentially it's just keep doing what you've been doing. Language learning is a cumulative process and consistency and commitment are what lead to success. The topics in the HSC are no different to what you've been doing in year eight, nine and 10. You're just going to revisit them at a higher, more sophisticated level, more um, in line with what you can express in English. You are the content. You don't have to learn any facts or figures, you just need to talk about yourself in French. There are no essays, research tasks, major works or portfolios. It's a very similar assessment style to what you've done in year 8, 9 and 10, focusing on listening, reading, writing and speaking. Dictionaries are allowed in the HSC examinations, just in case you need them, although you shouldn't. Almost all of our students who study a language to the HSC obtain results in the top two bands, in addition to other notable achievements such as top five state rankings and many results in the high 90s and students on the HSC or rounder list reflecting uh, band sixes in all subject areas. At Gosford High School, we're fortunate to have passionate teachers with a high level of language proficiency, in-country experience and um, experience examining and marking the HSC. 
We have consistently strong HSC results and many of our students continue their studies at university and take advantage of opportunities to work, travel and study in France. One of my students from 2018 just let me know on the holidays that she's been successful obtaining a place in France as an English um, teaching assistant and having graduated university she's off to Marseille. Um, later this year for a year's worth of work over there and who knows where that will take her after that. We have a very strategically designed program from year 8 to 12. It's aimed at establishing strong foundations and gradual skill development. In languages, students are lucky to work with the same teachers they've had since year 8, 9 and 10 and have that individual support and guidance. We offer as many opportunities opportunities as possible outside the classroom, although COVID has made that difficult. But we have immersion workshops at the Alliance Francaise, HSC speaking preparation workshops, and are looking into re-establishing our sister school connections with New Caledonia and other schools in French speaking countries. The stage six French continuous syllabus is shown on the next two slides. This is all the grammar that needs to be taught by the end of year 12. Everything shown in green is something that our students have already encountered. Now they may not have mastered it, but they are gradually increasing their familiarity and, and confidence with those structures. And all that is left that they haven't come across so far is in yellow. As you can see, there is not a lot of yellow left. So our course is designed to give students the maximum time to become familiar with and increase their confidence with new structures. So while Year 10 may be challenging in some ways, it means they have the maximum time possible to get familiar with and develop their confidence with the grammar structures, leading to increased accuracy in the HSC. There's not, any, not really anything scary lurking in the syllabus waiting to get you. The topics in stage six French continuous, as you can see, are topics that generally we've already covered in years eight to 10. We recycle and build on existing knowledge. And for those topics that have the little cross mark next to it, they mark topics that are for receptive use only. They're used for um, reading comprehension tasks and listening comprehension texts and are not topics that students are expected to be able to talk about or write about. The course aims are to be able to use French to communicate with others, to understand and appreciate the cultural context in which French is spoken, make connections between French and English and or other languages. Our students often tell us how much better their English marks have gotten through their language skills because they've reflected on vocabulary connections and the ways of expressing themselves differently with grammar and cognitive learning and social skills because learning a language is not just about the language and research shows that language learning can improve your communication skills, help you become a more confident speaker, enhance your memory, listening and reading skills in any language, improve your problem solving skills because speaking another language is always about problem solving. If I can't say the exact word, how can I communicate my idea a different way? And these skills transfer to other subject areas. In stage six, students will develop the ability to further um, express their thoughts in persuasive writing, creative writing, analytical and evaluative writing tasks. They'll demonstrate their creative thinking skills through creative and critical thinking skills, sorry, through um, increasingly sophisticated listening and reading texts and study issues that are relevant to them, turning 18, getting their license and so on. The internal assessment for year 11 and 12 is set by NESA, 30% for listening and reading, 20% for speaking and writing, and it's the same for both year 11 and 12. For the HSC exam, it's 100 marks, 80 of which are from the written exam, 20 from the speaking exam. And you can see examples of past papers on the Nestle website um, and become familiar with the content and the level of difficulty there. An example here is from last year's HSC reading. And again, you can pause and have a little look through that. Um, but students can see that the type of reading task, listening task, the questions they're asked are very, very similar to what they've already been encountering in years 8, 9 and 10. Recently, our year 10 students did a reading responding B style task. And they can see here is a similar example from last year's HSC. And they can compare it perhaps to the one that they've just done and think about whether it's really much harder or not. The writing task, at most you have to write 200 words in French, so there's not a long um, amount of writing. It's not six page French essay. So 75 words, 200 words, that's it. Um, and they can see here some questions from last year to give an idea of the topics that are covered. 
French Extension is an optional 60 hour course. It's an additional one unit for year 12 only. Um, and the extension course provides an opportunity for students to broaden and deepen their language experience and gain an appreciation of language through the study of contemporary text. In this case, it's a film study, um, the Les Intouchables. And so you can scan the QR code and watch the film trailer and see if that's interesting to you. Um, and so 50% 50, 50 of this course is film study and 50% is looking at social issues. So the prescribed issues are acceptance, resilience and identity. So the continuous course focuses much more on the individual. The extension course starts to branch out and look more at social issues and bigger concepts. Um, for example, those living with a disability no longer live on the edge of society. What do you think? A person's identity always reflects the values of the family. What do you think? So you don't need to have any facts or figures to argue these, um, to answer these questions and form an argument. It's just your opinion. So if you'd like to um, be able to express yourself more um, on topics beyond your personal world, the extension course may be interesting to you in year 12. The HSC standards, what does it actually sound like for the HSC? You can use the QR code to listen to an example of somebody who got 20 out of 20 for their HSC speaking task. It is a real HSC exam. Um, and the listening you can access on the NASA website or use the QR code to hear the level of difficulty for the listening comprehension for the HSC. Now, of course, being in year 10, we don't expect that you should be able to do the HSC right now. Um, otherwise, you'd be in year 12. But it gives you an idea of how much harder or not things become. In terms of where it gets you, um, the NESA syllabuses aren't aligned officially to any international framework, but approximately gets you to a common European framework reference level of B1, B2, which is intermediate, high intermediate. So C1, C2 represents an advanced level of language learning, and C2 is a level that not every native speaker would reach in their own language, as it represents postgraduate study. So here you can pause and have a read through what B1 and B2 can do and consider um, what that actually means in terms of proficiency, ability, and independent language use. So A1 and A2 is a basic user. B1 and B2 is someone who can be independent, can survive without a dictionary or a textbook, without having to script it in advance, and can talk about most general areas or areas of their own expertise um, with quite a good degree of fluency and spontaneity. Year 12 2020 thought about some questions that they would have liked to have answers to when they were choosing their subjects. So here I'll not read through them, but you can pause and play to move the slides along and have a read through what they had to say. Uh, there are also videos available of previous students talking about their language studies that you can access on the school website too. The incentives for language learners I mentioned earlier, the group of eight universities have a range of incentives. Um, unfortunately, every university has its own um, system for calculating bonus points for the ATAR. So it's something that you need to look into individually, unfortunately, but they are out there. So as I have said, languages lead to anything, broaden your horizons. It's always a door that opens, not a door that closes. So whatever your future career, there's definitely a place for French uh, within it. And so please come and see us if you have any further questions. And we look forward to seeing you in year 11 next year.